Hi, my name's Claire and welcome to the museum. Today we're going to learn something amazing about spiders. Do you like spiders? I do. My favourite spider is a bird dropping spider because it looks like bird poo. Do you have a favourite spider? Is it a spider that makes a web in the air like an orb weaver? Or one that lives on the ground like a tarantula? Now a tarantula doesn't make a web to catch its prey, but it does make something that all spiders make. Can you think what that is? Yes, silk. I wonder how a spider makes silk? Does it make it in its stomach, then <coughs> vomit it out? <laughs> Let's have a look at this model of a spider. It has two body parts. This is called the cephalothorax, and this is the abdomen. At the end of the abdomen, the spider has spinnerets that make the silk. The silk starts as a gooey liquid, then hardens in the air into a super strong and stretchy thread. What's even more amazing is that spiders can make different kinds of silk for different purposes. What do you think they make their silk for? Some spiders make sticky silk that they make into a web to catch food. Some spiders make silk to line their burrow, and some spiders use their silk to help them escape from predators. Do you know a blue and red superhero who uses silk to escape his enemies? Now that you know a little more about spiders and their silk, you can make your own silk climbing spider. You'll need a spider body. Remember, it has two body parts. I'm gonna add spinnerets at the bottom of the abdomen. Then we colour it in. Cut it out. Then we need its legs. How many legs will we need? I'll take these pipe cleaners and I'm going to cut them in half. So we have one, two, three, four. I need eight legs, so I'm going to twist these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bend the ends over to look like legs. Then I'm going to sticky tape my legs onto the cephalothorax. That's the front bit. Now I'm going to take a straw and it needs to be about as long as the spider's body. Then I sticky tape it down onto the body, making sure that I don't squish the straw. Now I need some string to make the silk. I'm going to cut this much. Fold it in half and then put the folded end into the end of my straw and thread it through. Ah, there it is. I need two little bits at the end. Poke the string through there and tie it off. This is so it doesn't get lost. So here I have my spider. I can put it over my neck or you could put it over a doorknob and I pull these apart and my spider climbs up its web after it's dropped to escape from a predator. Now that you've made a silk climbing spider, why not pretend to be a spider and make some webs? You could use string to make a tangled web around your bedroom. What will you catch? 